Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. This is second video of UiPath Assistant where you learn how to run and manage your automations in UiPath Assistant. In the previous video, you learned the complete overview, complete understanding of UiPath Assistant. If you have not watched that video, then please go through that. Now let's start the second video of this playlist. So here you can see, I have opened this UiPath Assistant which we can directly open from here. Here you can see we are getting recent and recently whatever projects that you have started that you will get here. Here we have a favorites. So whatever automation that you are marking it as a favorites, you will get here. Here we have all the automations. Now let's see. Here we have three automations. First, you can see the project name. And once we'll mouse over on this, you will see the project name and the version that we are using for that specific project. Now we published our project to the orchestrator and we need to find the specific version that currently running in orchestrator. So if you want to see that running version, the active version, you can also come to this UiPath assistant and you can find the specific project. You can mouse over on that and you can see that version. So currently the active version of this project, this process is 1.0.1. .1. So once we'll mouse over on this specific automation, you will also see the folder where this process is published. I can show it here. So this is the learning folder I have created. If you have any process in any other folder like my workspace or any other folder, you will also get that in this UiPath assistant in this automation list. You can see, click on process and you can see here all the processes, right? That you can see here also. Now, when you can see here, we have this logo, this icon and this icon is available only when you have a latest package that you need to install in your system and then you will be able to run this project. So, you just need to click on that and then what will happen? It will load that complete process, complete automation and install in your system. So now I just clicked on that. So now it's ready to run here. Currently we were getting here that icon. Now we are getting this run option. Now let's, let me run this process. So the one process I'm going to run, click on run. So if we'll click on this button, this icon, it will run that process. So let me click on that. I just click here and now you can see installing this package, job started processing and we got this message box. So this is the first process. I just stalled and I clicked multiple times like two times. So that's why I'm getting one more this you know failed automations. So whenever if there's any error in your automation, you will get notification here. And then you can see a foreground process is already running. So only one foreground process can run at a time. Let me click one more time from here. So you can run it from recent also. You can run it from this automations also. So let me this time click on this. Now you can see I have already executed that. So it will now start running here within few seconds. You can see it has started, right? And we got the message and completed. Let me click on this UI demo automation. Once you'll click on UI demo automation, run this, you will also get option to pause and stop the boot. You can see here, we are getting this here, it's installing the package. Now we have this pause and stop. So if you want, you can pause this boot, the process, and you can also stop the processing. So currently you can see it's working here. Now if you want to stop that, so it will just click on stop. So it's stopping the job. Now it has been successfully stopped from here. Now, if you can see here the options, there are more actions available against each automations. Click on that. And you can see here, run in your session, run in PIP, show automation details, send to desktop, right? So these are the four more options we are getting in each automations. So what are these things? So run in your session means once you'll click on this, it will 
like run same as this so like you click on this run it also run this process in the same session same session in in the same running session same computer right run in pip it will cre create a different picture in picture and it will run in a different session right so automation details so once you'll click on that you will able to see the automation details here of this process and send to desktop so let me show one by one so click on this so i clicked on that now it will start processing here same as the click now it just processed now so this is the same as that if you we'll click here or you click here it will start executing that now second run in pip it will run that process in the pip mode we'll we'll see this later now we have so automation details so if you want to see the automation details you can click on that and you can see the details of this automation now you can see the information history so information this is the name if you have any short course created for that so you'll able to see that or you can set here automations shortcut here we have a history so if you have any history you will able to see that like when you start that when you click uh, you know stop that so let me show you here so the history you can see it from here multiple time i stop that some some sometime i got error also if you see in the history you can see the complete history of this automation so one day i got this error also like today itself i got this error if you click on this you can also see the job details like what was the issue so it, it can show you the automation name the machine name also and you can see the error message start time end time and the, if you have any output values you will see able to see that we have option to copy to clipboard and paste here so if you want you can just write in into the notepad so you can see here now we have add two favorites so currently this hello project if you see here we are not getting add to favorites because we have already added this project to the favorites right you can see here if i want to add this also so i need to click on this add to favorites and now you can see i have this process that is added to favorites right now we have send to desktop so what is send to desktop send to desktop means sometimes what happens you do like you right click on this you click on send to desktop so what will happen this will create a shortcut on desktop so same as this we have this same option available here so click on this send to desktop now we have this rpa challenge automation you can see this is the name click ok and you see in few seconds here on the screen let me refresh that and you can see now let me find here okay now the use of this shortcut if you we'll double click on this this will also start your job let me double click on that and you can also see it from here you can see we are getting you can see it has just started processing and also you can see here job started processing so if we have a shortcut automations available in uh, at our desktop so we can double click on that and we can start the job from there also right and you can stop it from here click on stop yes i want to stop that now it is stopped here you can see it's, it's done now right and by this way you can run and manage your automations i hope this video is helpful for you if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you